it's Amy welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching today today we are going to do another is it worth the hype video I love is it worth the hype videos I really really do because I love testing out hyped up products and really getting into the nitty-gritty of them and whether or not they're worth our money so in today's episode we are looking at the Bahama body tan by Terry McAvoy so this is available I learned when I went to try and get this this is only available in pennies or Primark um, if you're not in Ireland um, and on the Sosu by SJ website so you can't just get it in a random pharmacy which I thought you could and I was going around all these pharmacies and I was like why don't they have this product and then I realized it's only it's exclusive to pennies and the Sosu by SJ website so that's an interesting fact that I would pass on to you that I did not know <laughs> the other weird thing that I noticed when I was ordering this was I got it I actually got it online because I just I I work in town and I just I don't work near a pennies and I don't like it's coming up to Christmas I don't want to be anywhere near pennies like I won't lie I will not be in pennies till February I'll be honest. I ordered it online and there was a very clear kind of like a disclaimer on the website that said that Bahama body is not associated with dripping gold. I just thought it was really weird. I just thought it was really like it called out like this is not part of the dripping gold family. Like I just thought it was a really odd thing to put on the website. That's just an observation on my part. So for this video, what I'm doing is, um, it's kind of broken into two sections. Initially I wanted to do like a first impressions and then let you know how I got on. But as it turned out, I did the first impressions, I put it on and when I went to film like the next day to show you what the tan looked like, I arsed around with makeup for way too long. And then it got dark and the lighting just was not conducive to showing you how, what the tan looked like. But I took that as an opportunity to try it again this week. When you see the result, this is the second time that I've tried this. So I'm pretty happy that I can give you a pretty good review of it all together. So that is it, guys. Let's get straight into it. And let's go to a very pale Amy from last week. So this is what we're dealing with. This is how pale I am. And I'm just going to show you me tanning the upper part of my body i'm going to take off my um rings let's have a little read of the bottle i'm always intrigued as to what they tell you to do and what not to do what i do like about this is it is cruelty free and vegan free and i think we need to start moving towards that and i know people have been talking about this for many many years and i've kind of been like yeah that would be great but now i'm like yeah there's no excuse what this tells you is exfoliate oh my god lass. again it's the same with saucy drip and gold right I'm 33. My eyesight's okay. This is so small and it's like printed on something really shiny. So I'm like, Ugh. step one, exfoliate, but do not moisturize or use moisturizing shower cream prior to tanning. Tick. Apply Bahama body, body mousse to clean, dry skin that is free from deodorant, perfume, or makeup. Apply tan in circular motions. Yeah, the usual use in tanimate. Use sparingly on hands, elbows, and knees. Allow minimum of seven hours. That's fine. Uh, moisturize the skin daily to prolong your tan. Okay, that's kind of fairly standard stuff. Now, there was one point that I was really excited about when I saw this because you might know that I, it just drives me crazy. I hate having my sheets stinking. I just, that's one thing that turns me off self tanning. Plus my husband tells me it looks like I shit the bed. So I read on this somewhere in this very teeny tiny writing that um, our unique guide color and tan enhancers give you a ready to wear color for those last minute nights out <laughs> while developing into a bronzed Bahama babe I'm struggling today I have been ill um all week and it's obvious this gives you supposedly a nice like ready to wear tan which is what I'm all about because I love putting it on like today is Saturday I love putting it on wearing it throughout the day washing it off that night um and I probably still get a little bit on my sheets but not near as much as I would get if I just slathered it all on and jumped into bed so let's Start. I'm giving it a shake. It's a mousse, as you know. Let's throw a little bit out. Okay, yeah. Normal, nothing unusual here. It smells nice. It reminds me of something. Okay, so it has that kind of orangey, like olive undertone undertone <laughs> that Dripping Gold has as well. Um, let's see how it goes on. Okay, that's what we're looking like. This actually makes my arm look bigger. And um, that's what we're looking like. That is the difference between the two. It is very natural to be fair. Um, but I was afraid because we are going out today, we're going for something to eat. 
I need to get out of the house and re-engage with society after being sick all week. Uh, yeah, I was afraid that it was just going to look really manky and I, you know, wouldn't want to go out in it. But it doesn't. It looks quite cool. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to tan the rest of my body because you don't want to see that. Okay, guys, that's it. I have the tan all over my body. It has gone on beautifully. It goes on real... Uh, like obviously it's mousse so it goes on moussey but it goes on kind of creamy and almost like it's dry to touch and I've only put it on about five minutes ago um this is lovely so okay I'm back and I've probably already explained that this is actually my second wear of the Bahama body tan and it's kind of like a week later um like I mentioned already uh, I wanted to do a second wear as you can see from this this is the tan on so I put it on last night I washed it off this morning so it was definitely on for eight nine hours and probably nine or ten actually because I put it on the minute I came in from work and then slept in it washed it off this morning and this is the tan so I just I've purposely angled the camera down just so you can see my chest and you can see here um my hands did not turn out as well this time around they normally don't turn out this bad but um they were quite dry i think during the week i got my nails done today how amazing are they <laughs> um so yeah the, look the tan like it's fine it's taken that kind of really really pale look off of me what i can also talk about at this stage is how i found the wear of the tan because i wore it last week and i had the wear off of it during the week so i found it fine it, it didn't go too patchy um it was fine i exercise a lot i walk a lot and i didn't find that it went scaly to be completely fair it did not go scaly so normally kind of like here are my telltale signs or like kind of like my chest like just between my boobs are always the telltale signs of how well a tan is wearing on me and i found that this tan wore off really really well to be fair it, it, it definitely did it gave me that nice glow for the first part of the week and then when i scrubbed it off it came off quite nicely so in that way it kind of reminds me of dripping gold because I find for me dripping gold acts the same way so again if we just go back to the claims of Bahama body ready to wear quick drying and intense deep tone so ready to wear 100% tick I love the color that you get when you put this on that kind of the guide color gives you that instant tan look and it's just a really healthy glow and I really really like that. I can also tell you because I've all I've both <laughs> worn it for the day and slept in it that it doesn't actually do too much damage to your sheets which I was really really happy about. The other thing they say here is quick drying. I would 100% attest to that. It dries so so quickly which is brilliant. It is not sticky in any way shape or form. It goes on like a dream. You saw me put it on. It goes on like a dream. It just goes on so kind of like moussey but kind of creamy almost on your skin and you can feel it hydrating i don't know is that a weird thing to say but you can actually feel it hydrating and i i found it fabulous to put on intense deep tone that's the only one of these three claims on the front of the bottle of Bahama body that i will contest because as you can see i am a very very pale person so i don't know it could either go to one of two ways so either you're very pale and you go really really dark because you're so pale or you're very pale and you don't have enough like probably melanin in your skin already that the DHA maybe reacts with and gives you a deeper tone. I don't know, I'm not a dermatologist or anyone that makes tans, so I can't tell you that. But what I will say is that for me, this did not give me an intense deep tone. You've heard me say before, like I've talked about Bondi Sands, I've talked about Dribbin Gold. I might have even talked about Be Bold as well. I'm not too sure. But for me, with tan, it's go hard or go home is what I always say I am not like a let's tan three nights in a row I'm like I want to tan one night I want it to be dark and I want just that to be that and that did not do that for me if I was going out tonight I would probably have woken up showered seen how you know light my tan is and I probably would have put on another layer this morning and wore that throughout the day and showered that off so I haven't tried this tan with two layers so one one night and one the next night whether I will or not I don't know I don't like who has time for that I wonder I really want to change my sheets tonight and I want everything to be all like smell nice and not tanny so I'm probably not going to do that but that's probably what I would do if I was going out tonight and I saw that this was the color that I got the next morning from the Bahama body uh, this wouldn't be like dark enough for me so the big question is this 
worth the hype. Look guys, the fact of the matter is that the tan market in Ireland is so saturated, it's actually scary. Like at the moment, if you think of the top tan brands, you're talking about Bondi Sands, Drip and Gold, Bear by Vogue is a massive one. The This Bahama Body one um, by Ter Terry McAvoy. You have Saint Tropez is still up there. Vita Liberata is still up there. Um, also then Pennies still stick with the Coco Brown. They have their own Sam Moritz tan. There is so, I've, and I've like obviously left out loads, but there are there's so much tan to choose from. This is 10 euro, it's from Pennies. If I was to compare this to, oh, Iconic Bronze is one that I got, and that was 12 euro. Um, I would pick Iconic Bronze over this. Do you know? So Iconic Bronze is 12 euro, it gave me much, much better tan, and I was I loved the um, wash off of it, and the wear off of it. Um, so I would pick Iconic Bronze over the Bahama Body based on price point. And you can see it for yourself, you've seen how, how pale I was before, you see how non-tanned I am now at the moment. Um, it's fine, I would say if you are a college student on a budget, if you are somebody that is trying tan for the first time, this would be good and I think that if you're inquisitive then like why not it's Christmas you're probably going to use half the bottle <laughs> this season anyway I say go for it so yeah in general for the price point it is worth the hype in terms of products on the market I don't think it's worth the hype so that's kind of my conclusion that's exactly my conclusion actually compared to other products it's not worth the hype but price point wise it is worth the hype does that make sense am i making sense if you have money that you can spend on tan i would be buying bondi sands obviously is my absolute favorite he she is my ultimate favorite so they're my two luxury 100 percent amazing tan brands that i go to so if you have money that's what i would be spending my money on if you're on a budget or if you're just not bothered with high-end brands in terms of tan or you don't really wear tan you just want a once off this is perfect pick it up you'll have it probably for years if you only, if you don't wear tan that much but this is probably the last time that i'm going to be buying this to be honest so guys that is my video on the bahama body tan by terry mcavoy whether or not it's worth the hype i really hope you enjoyed it please let me know if you've used this and if you think i'm totally and completely wrong again like i say with all of these products it's all so subjective to different people and how they use things so if i'm you know using it in a way that you think that no you'd actually get a better result if you did this please let me know um let me know if you've tried it let me know what, what you think and let me know what your favorite tan brand is i would be really intrigued i'm a big tanner because let's face it somebody as pale as me is never going to get a natural tan and i've made peace with that like 10 years ago and i'm totally happy with that because i also don't want wrinkles <laughs> so i'm a massive tanner and if you have a tan that you reckon i should try let me know um because i'm always open to new tans thank you so so much for watching and if you haven't already i would love if you would subscribe to my channel hit the like button for this video and i'll see you in my next one bye